Hey, welcome to the scene of Celine. We're here live on location at the Riverfest, standing on this bridge. I'm really scared, so I'm going to hand this over to Shauna because I need to hang out with both hands. What? Why are you scared, Jeff? Are you afraid of heights? This thing's going to fall, and I'm totally afraid of heights. Oh, what a wimp. <laughs> hey, we're going to check out some things here at the festival this weekend. Some food, some entertainment. I can't wait. Charles. Charles, and I get to hang with the gang? Yes. Really? Yeah, of course. I, oh, wow. I'm excited just to hang with the gang. They save the best for last. I'm here, too. It's going to be a good river fest. You just wait. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Christy from The Scene and I'm here with Katrina at the Poetry Wall and she's here to tell us all about it. Well, the Poetry Wall started several years ago and under the direction of Lori Brock who went into classrooms across Salina and students created lists of words for her to create the magnetic words to place onto the wall for magnetic poetry. And um, Richie Bergen, a local artist, he created the scroll wall, which you can see in the background here. And um, every year we bring it out and bring um, all ages really to the wall. I think the one thing they really like about it is there's no right or wrong, it's just a creative expression. I am at the River Festival and I am talking with Donnie Shelton. He doesn't think he's related to Blake Shelton, but we're not sure. Not sure. Hey, we're at his booth and we want to know a little bit about this beautiful wood and metal artwork. The uh, bases start um, square. I forge the legs around, do all the ironwork on the base, and then I'll find a cool piece of wood for the uh, tabletops or carve the seats out for the benches. Where do you get your wood? Any place I can find a cool looking piece of wood. Really? A lot of it comes from uh, a gentleman in Virginia. He has his own sawmill and we formed a relationship so he keeps the neat stuff for me and, and uh, I try and put it to good use. Hey Jeff and Charles here. We're with Pamela Covington from Prairie Village. We've got some abstract art here. Uh, we just were coming by looking at it and we're looking at this stuff and Charles was, Charles you were saying. Like I'm, I'm totally amazed. It's like what is it? Right. What am I supposed to be looking for in it? And, and, and that's when I say it's, you think that a lot of people want to land on something like a boat or a chair or a figure, a person, a face. Um, and a lot of times we just think that's what we need to land on to feel comfortable with the art. But actually it could be the mood or the feeling that you're getting when you see a boat. When you see a boat you think maybe a vacation or cool water or I'm off work. When really you're attaching yourself to the feeling of the work. So if you can think of the abstract work in that way and let yourself just look at it for the cool colors, then it might, it's easier to grab a hold of it and realize that you don't necessarily have to see a figure or a narrative um, or something uh, concrete like an object uh, that we relate to. Because yeah, I was looking at this one picture here, it was kind of blue, and I and I kind of felt myself a little bit cooler. You can see the sweat coming down my head, but I, I was feeling a little bit cooler right there, right? Yeah. And then, Charles, you had a favorite one there. Yeah, my, mine, I felt a little more calm with the tower, and I could yeah. see it overlooking the people, and it's just like I'm up in the tower enjoying myself, excited. Yeah, that's exactly what abstract work is supposed to do to you, is just give you a feeling or a sense of something or a mood and not necessarily say, hey, that's a bowl of fruit with a glass of wine next to it, you know? But that can feel good too. Yeah. 
Hey, we're back with you. Look, I have found the sexiest mermaid in town, <laughs> made by Adam Schultz. He's also here with, I'm sorry, let me get your name again, Lori Acott. They're from Colorado. And this thing right here, I thought it was jade, but it's not, it's bronze. And I heard you, Adam, say earlier that this will outlast, what is that? This will outlast our society. This, and when everything crumbles, this will probably be one of the last things dug up by future archeologists. So if you buy this, no, you, can, you don't even have to put it in a time capsule. Just sit it in your house. Your house could blow up, get taken away by a tornado. This is still going to be here. So how long did it take to do this? It took about three months to do all in all. All the way through the foundry process, we sculpted it in clay, then cast it using the lost wax process. And what is the weight of this beautiful lady? <laughs> about 45 pounds. Pounds. Oh. That's exactly how much I weigh. <laughs> Me too. I know. So where did you get the idea or the thought of that lady? And Charles likes it. You know, you got to do what you love. All right. Yeah. So you sculpt what's in your heart. And I love these ladies. So <laughs> this is what it's all about here. Hey, that's good. These two are sharing a booth, which is very interesting to me because they're def different artists, but they live in the same household. So my thought when I walked up to this booth was, I can see the uh, thought process that they share. Their art is similar, but different. So let's go over and see what Lori has to offer. So this is conversation with myself. Yes. Okay, tell us how this uh, piece was inspired. So I made the large figure and then I put it on my shelf for six months to figure out what it was looking at. <laughs> and then I made the small figure and then I realized, oh, so it's like, you know how we all have conversations with ourselves and part of us, there's part of us maybe that's afraid or confused or concerned about things and then there's another part of us that's like, it's going to be fine, it's going to be okay and that's what this piece is about. That is awesome. So tell us what this is made of. Bronze. So is this piece the piece that's yelling at that piece? Why did you make that mistake? Because that's what I see with I see this. So that tells me a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> bam! So bam! For me, this piece, this piece, the hands are behind the back and it's loving and supporting. So some people who tend to be hard on their, themselves tend to see this as being hard on themselves. Mm. He's, too hard on He's too hard on himself. That's right. More loving and supportive of yourself. Yeah. That's the beauty of art, people. It's that everybody gets a different perspective when they look at a piece. And it's all about how it makes you feel and not about necessarily what the artist was feeling when they created it. That's why you buy it and take it home. Exactly. Do you exactly. agree? I, absolutely. I, I believe that the, the artwork is not finished until somebody views it and brings their own experiences in life to a sculpture. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Lori and Adam at Yay. the festival. Hey, here we are on the tram at the River Festival. We're riding around. We're commiserating about what? Years at the festival. 39 years. This Holy is 39 God. years of River Festival, people. Wow. Is that amazing? That's older than me. That's older than me, too. <laughs> so a favorite memory of the River Festival for me is uh, Festival Jam. Absolutely love Festival Jam. Have been to every single one. Have never missed a single one. It's always a, a great opening event for the festival. So many people come. There's so many different bands, lots of talent. And I absolutely love just getting out in the evening air listening to these bands and really celebrating the fact that we have so much talent around us in Salina. My favorite memory is I was here three years ago and I bought a coffee mug from um, somebody who did pottery who was here selling. They're not here this year, unfortunately. And I gave it to my grandmother who was really, really sick. And it was a giant coffee mug and it had a big picture of a chicken on it. And on the back it said, Mother Clucker. <laughs> She drank from it every single day and thought of me, and it, that made me think of the River Festival. So, and then she passed away shortly after that. So it was really cool um, awesome. that we could share that together. That's awesome. How about you, Charles? Favorite moment? I I have none. This is the very first time I've ever been at the, this festival.
but I will come back. I saw a few things that I like seeing and some artwork I like seeing and some people I like seeing. So what about you, Jeff? Well, as Charles is making moments, I'd like to take this time to apologize to the Salina Police Department. Uh, it was back around 1978, 1979, not sure what year it was. It's me and a bunch of other people. We were doing some things, not going to say what, and we were running from the police. No, I didn't get caught. The statute of limitations is up. You can't come get me now, but I'm very, very sorry. I love the police, and I've been a great and model citizen ever since then. And now I'm making good, wholesome, clean, legal memories. So if you have never been to the festival like Charles, you're probably wondering what you should expect to see here. Well, one of the things that you're going to see here for sure is a lot of people. This is a popular event. People love this. It's outdoors. It has all kinds of attractions for families. You're going to find kid exhibits. You're going to find things for the adults. You're going to find it all here. There's fair food, my favorite. And of course, I love all the booths and the shopping. Yeah. I usually um, drop a couple hundred dollars here because it is fantastic yeah. and I want to support locals. The artwork out here is amazing. There's some great pieces. Also food. Food. Tons of food. Uh, we're going to eat alligator on a stick. There's cheesecake on a stick. There might even be bear on a stick. I'm not even sure, but it's great. Stay tuned. You're going to see it all. Hi, Salina. I'm here at the uh, gum exhibit. I'm with Herrick, and uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit grossed out right now. So, um, Tell us a little bit about the gum exhibit. Well, it's called the Bubblegum Bison, and the gum's totally free, and you gotta chew it up. Uh, about 60 times or so is a good amount of stickiness while retaining some color. And then just really work it on the board in the matching color, and uh, then it'll be the same image I've painted up there, but just out of chewed bubble gum. And then we have Germex for everybody. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of a fun community involvement piece, getting everybody, you know, just kind of involved and participating with the art. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of a funky, weird, fun thing to do. Funky and weird, an understatement, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not really sure how I'm going to react to this. If I throw up, we'll turn the camera away. So Herrick says I need to chew the gum 60 times, and I, I'm not even sure I can do that. Uh, it hasn't been chewed before. Why? Okay, what, what do we do? We need to give her the chew gum. Damn germs out. Did you make it? Did you make it? Yeah, barely. We're backstage at the River Festival and we're about ready to talk to a band from Melbourne, Australia, Jacoby. And here they are! Hey guys! Thanks for being here. So this is your first trip to the United States? No, that's, that's a lie. It's our second, second trip. Your second trip to the United yeah. States. Yeah, but this is... Um, we pretty much traveled all of the states. Again, we did it. This is our second tour. So we started off in LA and ended up in New York. Pretty much did zigzags the whole way. Um, yeah, we've, so now we're pretty much doing the same thing again. But this one's way better because we come here. How do we compare to like LA and New York? Um, I think you're better. LA's got to pick their game up <laughs> real quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So tell us a little bit about the name Jacoby. How did that come to, to be? Jakubi is actually my name, um, but it came from my name in Lebanese, was Yaub, and my ex-girlfriend's dad was like, we needed a new name because we had another name, but another band took it and they got famous much quicker than, oh, we're not famous, but they got bigger, and so my ex-girlfriend's dad was thinking of a name, we all were thinking of a name, there's about 50 names, we all hated them all, and then he comes up to me, he goes, Jacob, I've got to tell you something, and I was like, whoa, what's going on here, you know, Jakubi, and I was like, Jakubi. 
<laughs> yeah, it works. It works. So, it works. Yeah, it works. So tell us a little bit about your sound. About the sound. That's probably the hardest question for us, I think. Yeah, yeah. We don't really know what we what we sound like. Yeah. So it's just a bit of because everyone's into different music. So all the um all the sounds come together just through that. Yeah. You guys got this seventies kind of funk thing going with it. I mean, do do you realize that? Is that part of it, or is it just because we when we were listening to, it, I was like, hey, that's that's my music right there. We, that's when we started getting up. We had kids going. I mean, is that is that part of the thing we guys are writing? Or? I think that just comes naturally. Yeah, we don't really try to to do a, a certain style, but that just comes out naturally. But yeah, we do have yeah. a strong love for that sort of. Oh, music. Do, definitely. Yeah. yeah Curtis yeah. Mayfield, James Brown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's it. That's what I thought. I told Charles, I was like. I was like, George Clinton in the house. It was, it was good. It was good, though. I really liked it. So do you write together as a group, or do you have one person who's kind of the instigator of your songwriting? Yeah, it starts with, I might have a riff I come to jam practice with, and then we all just jam that out, or it's whoever, really. Sometimes, you know, we're not all there yet. Uh, Je Jesse might be on guitar, and then uh, Robbie might be on drums, and if that's the way the song gets written, that's the way the song gets written, and it stays like that. Yeah. So out of all of you guys, who's the worst dancer? Worst dancer? I don't think... No, I don't think <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Oh, okay. So who's the loudest snore? Nice. <laughs> so worst dancer, loudest snore. Yeah, and you've got the best hair too, by the way. I love it. So, you know, the question of the day is, how is the women situation <laughs> around there? Yeah, Rob, you can answer that. Um, yeah, Rob, you answer that. I, I, I don't know how to answer that. Uh, the, so the women's situation is they're, they are women. Um, and I think Jesse should answer this. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a lot of really sexy older ladies out here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. 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 We're into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, when you guys are jamming together, have, is that... Do you guys ever just create something new and fresh right right on the spot? Yeah, yeah man. It's funny. All of our, like, when you're on the road, you don't have time to rehearse. So right. sound check is where we write most of our songs, you know? Like, as soon as people plug in, we just start jamming. And that's where the songs come from a lot of the time, sound checks. Wow. Oh, well, on a personal note, I feel that rocking up to the studio or the, the jam room and then Seeing Jesse on the drums killing it, as he playing a crazy riff, that that inspires me to do like do this. Do you know what I'm saying? How did you all discover each other? How'd you get together? They're cousins. We're brothers. <laughs> we're brothers. Robbie and Adzi were been mates since about 13, maybe a bit later than that. So yeah, it's 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 a very family orientated and real like natural group you know like it's it's not like we picked each other you're a guitar player we we're best mates before anything yeah. you know uh -huh. and then we're like let's just try and make music you know i mean rob's rob's the boys have been doing it for a long time but jacuzzi was more like about just playing music for fun and then people enjoyed it so we said let's take it a bit more serious and three years later we're in uh, salina <laughs> kansas <laughs> yeah. Woo! You can find us now, like, with what we're doing on wearejacuby.com, so that will have all our details of where we're playing and where we're going and where we have been. And then you go on Facebook. Pretty much if you go on Google and look up Jacuby, everything you need to find will be there. Google is the way. seven at the festival and just a little disclaimer here that uh christy and i did some heavy dancing at the jacuby concert we so it hard. we're looking a little sweaty so you know don't judge bear with us but now we are getting ready to test out some festival food we aren't sweaty we're festival fabulous we are festival fabulous <laughs> jeff has a turkey leg smoked turkey leg yes yes down here we have the uh, fried Twinkie. Uh, this is the peachy pork. And right here is the pork parfait. Mm. 
This is the fried lemonade. 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 We think it looks a little bit like pea, but we'll let you know about that one. Here we go with the alligator. alligator and of course your traditional um, funnel, cake. funnel cake here. And down at the very end, we have the vegan wrap. wrap. Okay. So we are ready to test taste everything. Okay. Yeah, so this is fried pork with peaches. A little bit of syrup drizzled over the top. Uh, we will taste this, yeah. see what this is about. I did not expect that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Get some pork in there. No, get! Ah, but it is totally amazing. That is good. What are you talking about? Tastes like pork pancakes. Oh no. All wow. right. That's terrible. Three thumbs up and one thumb down. All right. All right. Okay. okay what's next? Let's go All right. Big turkey leg. Here. All right. The turkey leg. I'm so... not passing this down. It looks still yes, alive. Yes, you are. It's delicious. Oh. Somebody in King Arthur's court. That mm. is great. It looks. Like oh it's wow. Still mooing. <laughs> It's no! Oh, I'm it's sorry. It's still, it's still cooking. Mm. Okay. Oh, that is good. Uh, mm -hmm. Charles was about ready to go vegan is eating meat. So mm -hmm. let's see how this works out. Just eat it. Oh, it's good, right? You can't go vegan after that's, that. That's a little bit better. That's, that's good. delicious. That's better than the pork. Well, this is the oh. pork parfait, which to me is probably the most there. creative dish I've seen at the festival. Because who puts pork in a parfait glass is what I want to know. Oh, How do you feel about gosh. this, Charles? Mm. Not so sure. <laughs> Charles, look at it. Oh, mm. Mm. Another amazing dish. I don't know about that one. Mm. Mm. I don't know about that one. I'm kind of eh, because all I got is mashed potatoes and like barbecue. Oh, salad. yeah, I okay. agree. Okay. Presentation. Thumbs up for presentation. Thumbs up for taste. I taste love it. I got it like a, eh. Thumbs sideways love for it. taste. Love mm -hmm. it. Charles. Good. It's, still, it's, it's, it's okay it's, though. It's okay, but it's but just it's not, not, it's, it's not. But it, it yeah. ain't bad. Right. It ain't like that first one. No. <laughs> it's like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Chewy chicken, right? Charles is having a he's having another thumbs down moment over here. Yeah, I'm definitely mm. thumbs down. I'm mm. not gator. No, I think the I got, sauce made it work. I got work. thumbs up for this. I'm kinda I'm like a I like it. You like, I like the it. gator? I like the gator. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's not that we don't like each other or yes, anything it is. like that, but the fact is is that we all know where the other person's lips have been, and so <laughs> that's why we're not all sitting out of the straw. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, that's good. I like yeah. that. It's good. That's you know, good. I'm thinking that would go tea. really good with a little bit of gin. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that Tweaky's leaving yeah. the front of you. Okay. Mm. It does look rough. It does. Oh, that's good. I told you that's good. The deep fried. I got a thumbs up. It's one of the what two. The I'm at the damn. Yeah. Oh, two and two on that one. All yeah, right. I'm not not a fan of the fried Twinkie. Right. Oh, it's good. I love cow. Oh my god, yeah, this thing weighs good. like five pounds. It's cold. Yeah. It's good. Oh. Not only good, they're good for you. Mm-hmm. I gotta give that a thumbs up. Yeah, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, wow, that is the vegan wrap. Yes, on, Jeff. You know Jeff. Oh, Come Jeff! On. Don't you know be a hater. Jeff. You fun hater. Well, who does not like funnel cake? I mean, like funnel, funnel cake, cake is like a there? staple of the River Festival. Right.
everybody gets a funnel cake when they're here. If you don't get a funnel cake, I mean, oh, I'm why? sorry, I What's have to point? take all. You know, yeah. you can get fruit on these two people. So, right. uh, double being un-American so, so what is this? It's fried, fried dough. I don't, I don't oh. think you'll like it. No, no, I, I totally don't like that at all. <laughs> all right, so what's your favorite? My favorite is the fried twinkle. My favorite is the leg. That leg was good, too. Charles, yeah, what's fine. yours? That's yours? Yeah. Yours. What was yours, Shauna? Pork, Pork parfait. Pork, Pork parfait. parfait. All right, so this totally worked out. So we all got our favorites, and we can just, like, eat our own little thing since we all didn't have the same favorite. And, that, and that, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's the way life needs and to work. And we can share the funnel cake at the end. Yes, right. we can. All Aww. right. So that's it for food at the River Festival. All right, hey, we're just wrapping it up at the festival. Oh, let me tell you, man, I'm full. We got some great food in. Listen to the band of the century. Oh, we rode the tram. We endured the rain. Endured and the rain. And got to see some good art. Good and art, some art. great and art. art. And got to interview the best band here. That's best right. Best band, yeah. Jacoby. Let me yeah. tell you something. If, if you don't know, now you better you, know. You better know. Because <laughs> they're, they're coming. Thank you all for watching us all season long. We're taking the summer off. We will see you in September. Have a good one, Salina. Bye. Testing, testing. Whoop, whoop. And the numbers ain't close. Well, I'm glad you like it because I was the model. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs>